We recently received a distress signal from the USS Forrestal, a ship we thought was lost in the Nexus back in 2332. We sent the USS Madison out to investigate, but they haven't checked in for some time. Considering the Nexus is involved, they could be in trouble. The Madison's last known position was in the Rotenev system. Meet with the USS Challenger there to investigate the situation. Her captain has some experience with the Nexus. Good to see you again. Looks like the two missing ships are here, although they're both in a disabled state. Neither of them have responded to our hails. That's entirely possible. Even minimal exposure to the Nexus can be pretty disruptive to ship systems. I think we should take a closer look. Things could be worse than our initial scans have indicated. Apologies. This ship's taken some damage here. Short-range comms are barely working, and we're experiencing widespread systems failure on all decks. Our Nexus defense screen's overloaded, and we were exposed to a full blast. We're lucky to be here. We could use your help. Something's not right here. I worked on the Nexus Defense Screens project, and a catastrophic failure like that seems unlikely. In an overload situation like she described, the ship wouldn't be disabled. It'd be destroyed. just disrupted most of our systems. We're sitting ducks over here. our systems out. We're running on emergency power. I think we'd better get over there and find out what's going on while we still have a functioning ship between us. Meet me at these coordinates on deck 10. Looks like someone activated the security system on this deck. Fortunately, I know a thing or two about that system. The console here is offline, but there should be a functional one nearby in a holodeck. From there, we can access the system and shut the fields down. This holodeck's damaged. Let's try the next one. All right, let's get to work. With luck, we should be able to bypass the system and drop those... Wait. Someone's loading up a holodeck program in here, and I've got a feeling it's not for R&R. Activating program Barkley, 42 Epsilon. Safety protocols are disengaged. Please, help us! The Borg are everywhere! Program's locked. We'll have to survive the battle to leave. Last wave. Unless they change the program.
Oh, thank you. If there's anything I can do to repay you, anything at all. That's definitely a Reg Barkley program. Let's get back to business. We'd better bypass security before they send more sparring partners to deal with. Okay, that did it. Security systems are down on this deck, and they won't be putting us into another holodeck scenario anytime soon. This is Commander Tabai. Please respond. I repeat, if you can hear this, come to 10 forward at once. There's... Our defenses just dropped. We require your assistance. They are closing on us. Hurry. It won't be long before they attack. Someone's jamming that signal. We'd better get to 10 forward. Thank you for coming. The Madison has been taken over by hostile forces and we are in dire need of assistance. We responded to a distress call from USS Forrestal, long thought lost to the Nexus. As we closed to assist, the Madison was struck by a potent beam of psionic energy. It disabled the ship and left us vulnerable to attack. Mind-controlled members of the Forrestal's crew then beamed over and took control of this vessel. We few are all that remain free. An alien of tremendous psionic ability, formerly trapped within the Nexus. We believe it lured the Forrestal there in an escape attempt, which failed. Somehow, it was able to break free when the Nexus recently returned. Though powerful, there are limits to the alien's ability. The combat with your ship has weakened it considerably. Now is the time to strike. The controlled crew are bound to attack again soon. Picking up transporter signals, multiple contacts. We've got incoming. Enemy contacts, inbound. Looks like we bought ourselves a little time. We should discuss our next move soon. We might talk with some of the survivors here for more information as well. Your call. Oh, am I glad to see you. Things were looking more than a little ugly until you got here. I'd pour you a drink, but all of the replicators went offline an hour ago. As good as can be, under the circumstances. I'm still amazed we haven't been, um, dominated by that alien. The commander thinks it's because we all come from a species with psionic abilities. As good a reason as any, I suppose. Ensign Rana, Engineering. Sorry for staring, Captain LaForge. Your work on transwarp theory was required reading at the Academy. I never thought I'd actually meet you. Wish it were under different circumstances. Right. Well, they, they hit main engineering first. If you're going down there, be on your guard. Several of us tried to take it back a couple of days ago. They beamed in and took us by surprise. I was the only one to make it back here. Ensign Saitel, security. Your arrival is most fortuitous. Our numbers have dwindled considerably since the enemy's initial assault. 
Until your arrival, I calculated our odds of survival at 4,286 to 1. Difficult to fully assess at this juncture. However, I am willing to state that our odds have improved considerably. If all of you were psionics, our odds would be even better. The alien is quite ineffective against those with mental abilities. I have a feeling these attacks will intensify as the alien gains strength. If we're going to do something to save this ship, we'll need to do it fast. Let's get down to main engineering. I think we can get a better grip on the security system there and use it to incapacitate both the hostile crew and the alien. Take these psionic inhibitors with you. We hope to use them on some of our dominated crewmates prior to your arrival. But I suspect they will serve you better at this time. They should... They're beaming in reinforcements. Heads up! More hostiles income! We've got a couple of problems here. Main power's offline, and there's a lot of Nexus radiation getting past the screens. I'll handle the power situation while you deal with the radiation. Once that's done, we can bring the security systems back online. work. Radiation levels are back in the safe zone, and I've managed to prime the warp core. Give me a hand with it, and we can restore main power. That did it. Main power's back online, and warp core is stable. I've activated most of the security systems, but it looks like the bridge is still under enemy control. It's a good bet that's where the alien is. Starfleet disagrees with you on that. No words mean nothing. Kill them. Kill them now. We are here to assist you.
I'm reading the alien on sensors. It's back on the forestall. This isn't over yet. The Challenger might be able to fight, but most of this ship's crew is unconscious. Beam back to your ship and deal with the forestall. I'll do what I can here to get the shields up and keep the Madison in one piece. I'm reading the alien on set. The challenger might be. Shall the battle continue? Shall you strike me anew again and again until nothing remains? Once I was imprisoned within the Nexus, cast away for defying those who called themselves my rulers. And now a new jailer comes, demanding submission. No, I need this ship and everyone on it. They give me what I need to return home and avenge my imprisonment. I will not give them up. The Challenger stands ready to assist you. I'll keep working with the crews of the disabled ships. We'll have them up and running again in no time. You saved a lot of lives here today. You showed mercy to someone who wasn't inclined to return the favor. That goes a long way, my book. You're welcome. Once we're done here, we'll go back to working with the Lucari on a big project. I've enjoyed seeing their protomatter technology firsthand. Hopefully, we won't run into any Zinkethi trouble while we're out there. I'd rather not see their protomatter weapon in action if I can avoid it. Interesting report. This alien was trapped for eons in the Nexus and wanted to leave? As I understand it, the Nexus is a paradise. Apparently there's at least one life form out there who disagrees. Fortunately, you saved a lot of lives and three Starfleet vessels. Captain LaForge tells me they'll spend some time in space dock, but they'll be ready for duty again soon. And we can use all the ships we can get on the frontier these days. Well done. <laughs>